On this edition of Cypress Tech Spotlight, we take a look at how the Cypress University Alliance helps to connect college engineering students like John Moeller with the power of TSOC. My name is John Moeller. I'm a student at Texas A&M University. I'm getting my master's degree right there in computer science. What I study is computer-human interaction. So I look at how people deal with computers, how people deal with technology, and I try to think about new ways that people can use technology to become more creative in their day-to-day -day lives. I first discovered PSOC in my senior design class during my undergraduate degree at Texas A&M and we were developing an iteration of the touchscreen technology that became Zero Touch. It enables you to add multi-touch to any television, to any screen, or even to wave your hands around in midair and, and just sense your fingers in midair. Cypress University Alliance was created in 2006 as a vehicle to ensure that engineering students and their professors have Cypress technology available to them in their engineering labs worldwide. There are now over 700 universities worldwide using PSOC in some form or fashion, either in research, in dedicated classes and senior projects and so on, and that number just keeps growing every quarter. The very interesting thing about my job is the projects that I see coming out of universities. Students, many of them don't yet know what's impossible, so they often do the impossible. With something like PSOC that's programmable and as flexible as it is, there are just a, a plethora of different projects that come out and they truly come from all over the world. So FreeSock is a low-cost development platform for the PSOC 5 microcontroller. The biggest problem that I was trying to solve when I developed FreeSock was the fact that there's this PSOC platform out there, it's great, but no one had really heard about it. Everyone is focused on Arduino this, Arduino that, so I wanted to give the PSOC the exposure that it deserves. The change that it made in my design process, I want to see that change happen in other people, that acceleration of the design process, that understanding of system level design that you get when you can design a system in a matter of hours instead of a matter of weeks. Without the Cypress University Alliance, I would never have even heard of PSOC, much less come around to the things that I've done today. They were the ones who provided the PSOC 3 that was in that first lab. They were the ones who gave us the parts that we needed to put zero touches together. They were the ones who gave us the parts that we needed and the funding that we needed to create the FreeSock, to create the 8051 board. They are probably the sole reason that I'm doing what I'm doing now in terms of PSOC design, development, and, and everything else. On the next Cypress Tech Spotlight, John Moeller explains how FreeSock works and why he chooses PSOC over all other microcontrollers.